Hello guys, I'll be showing you how to set up my face tracking template for any avatar that you have. Now, I'll be using the Naruto Dragon because I've never done this before. I never used this in any in any Unity project, so I'll be doing this first time. And first thing you're going to need is the actual template. I'll leave a link to it in the description, but I can just pull it up right here. Okay, so now that we have our package in, it's right here. What we are gonna do is open it up and we have three things that we need to put into the model. And we're just gonna open our model like this. And first thing we're gonna do is put our FX layer in the controller, scroll down, playable layers. We're gonna put our FX again here, scroll down. And our menu parameters, here is the menu you're going to put in. And here are the parameters. And that's all set. Next, what we're going to do is actually work on our animations. Now, if you don't have an animator or an animation tab, all you have to do is go to your window and then look for animation. And they are both right here. And you can just drag them wherever you want them to be. Okay, so here is what we're going to be setting up. If we open our animations, we can see that we have all of these. Now, I'm going to start with the simple stuff first. So I want to be doing the smile and sad. So the smile. Here is our blend tree. You're going to open up our blend tree right here. Next. We have our animations right here. So we're going to be looking for our smile. Right here. And here is smile enabled. Basically, you're smiling. What we're going to do is go to our animation tab. Click it. We're going to click on our model like this. And now that our model is highlighted, we can now select smile enabled. The thing about most models is they have blend shapes set up, which are very useful for gestures. And a lot of models have them set up as standard. So to save us some time, you don't actually have to animate a smile. Knowing how models work, if we open up, if I expand the hierarchy to our body, I go to blend shapes. And as you can see, these are all blend shapes right here. All right, so we're going to do our smile animation. We're going to hit the record button and we are going to look for a smile. And oh, we have a happy. I'm going to use this one because it is under emotions. So I'm just going to do this just like that. Now that it's set to 100. That is good. And that's pretty much it. And we're just going to be doing this for all the different animations. We're going to go to our sad animation. Okay. And it's the same process. What we're going to do is hit the record button, look for a sad. There we go. Some of them we are going to have to actually animate manually. Because if I go in here, we have a we have a tongue that we're going to have to do, a jaw and a jaw. Upper lip is if the model has has lips you can actually animate. Most don't, but I'm going to see if this guy has it. So I'm going to expand our hierarchy. Spine, chest, neck head it does not appear that we have any anything we can control for the lips so we will be skipping this instead we are going to be looking at the jaw so 
we're going to do something basic. We're just going to do a draw open and left and right. So before we do any animations to a model, we're going to want to duplicate it. So just click on our model. Control D duplicates it and just hide it. All right, now we're set. We will be animating our jaw open, which is really straightforward. We're going to hit our record button again. Go to our model. We're going to expand our hierarchy. Look for our jaw. Click on our jaw. Next, what we're going to do is hit E on our keyboard, which is going to open this up, which we are going to just open it like this. And I think that is pretty good for a jaw open. I'm going to even this out though. Now if I hit preview, a model will head back to our default state. And if we hit preview again, you can see that our jaw opens just like that. So now we will be animating a jaw open left and jaw opening right. It's the same process, but we're just going to translate it to the left and right. So to do that, we're going to open up our jaw again to the same threshold. So I set the opening to 145. So draw open left. All we're going to do, hit the record. We're going to get this to 145. Just like that. And next, we are going to hit W on our keyboard. And we are going to translate it. I'm just going to do a little translation, nothing crazy. So we're going to open this to the left. So this is the left side of our model right here. So we're just going to drag this red arrow. And I think that is good. I'm going to copy this value and hit preview. And now if we hit preview again, our jaw is open to the left. We're going to do the exact same thing for the jaw open right. So jaw right here, E on our keyboard. We're going to open this to 145. You can set these to whatever you like. This is just what I'm doing. And the value I pasted, I copied, I'm going to paste. And it's negative. We're just going to do this. There we go. Now it's on the opposite. And we have a jaw open left and jaw open. And next off, we're going to be doing a tongue. So for a, we are going to be looking for a tongue down, which is exactly what it sounds like. This is going to get a little tricky, but if you want to save yourself some time, you can, you have to do only four if you really want to. So. so now we get to animate this ourselves. We are going to select tongue down, hit record. We're going to find our jaw and here's our tongue right here. Now we will have to open our jaw for this to work. So I'm going to use the same value. 145. Perfect. And I'm going to get the tongue. And I'm going to pull it out. Not like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to select the next tongue on our hierarchy. And that looks pretty good. Now we have a tongue down animation. Hit preview. 
There's our tongue. It's a little blue. <laughs> next, we're going to do the next one. Which is tongue left. Which is exactly what it sounds like. But to save us some time and to make it a little more consistent. We're just going to take our tongue values that we made. We're going to hit control and just click all of these. Control C. And we're going to go to our tongue left. And hit control V. Now, if we preview it, we should have the same animations as before. But now, we're going to edit these. So, the, hit the record button. We're going to find our tongue. And we're just going to simply move this left. So... There we go. Try to keep these values consistent. So we could just copy and paste them again. Rotate this guy. Actually, this looks pretty good the way it is. Okay, to make this simple, I'm just going to rotate it this amount but you can do it however much you want next we're going to hit preview copy these control and click all them control c we're going to go to our tongue right paste the values hit preview and since i only moved the tongue one i'm just going to rotate this negative 5.5 again perfect now it's the opposite that looks pretty good next we just need a tongue up we are going to paste our we are going to paste our tongue down values this time tongue up Next, we are going to hit our record button, select tongue one, and we're going to eyeball this just a little bit. So that looks good. Tongue three. Looks a little weird like that. Let's see if we could rotate it. Very interesting. There we go. And just move it up. Perfect. That's our tongue up. And that should be it. Now you can add a tongue up left and up right if you want to kind of touch your cheeks a little bit on the sides but for this video I will be showing you X and Y next up we are going to go to our blend trees and make sure our animations are in order now for our sad you can click on our blend tree right here and drag our model into the little box right here if you don't see this it's probably looks like that so just drag it up, move it around. Perfect. Now we're going to move the slider. So this is our sad. And as you can see, we do a full sad animation. We're going to go to our smile. Move our slider. There's our happy Nardo. We're going to go to our tongue. This is our tongue toggle. And this is our tongue blend tree. Open the blend tree. And here is our blend tree. There we go.
Sweet. Since I am not using these two animations right here, these are empty, we are going to be removing them. The center one being zero or off. As you can see, we can move this around. Pretty cool. And you could see the values being changed here. These values are important because this is what the game will be looking for. The mod that you installed will be looking for these values, case sensitive. And we should be pretty much done. All the blend trees should be set up and I'm going to upload this and I'm going to test it in game. Okay, so here we are in game and here is our model. As you can see, we have our animations all set on it. So if I smile, smiles, frown, jaw open, and translation. And if we go into our radial menu, we could toggle our tongue on and we can move our tongue around. And it's straightforward. As you can see, it was really easy to do it. All the blend trees were set up and you have to just put your animations into it. If you want more expressibility in your model, I will leave a link to the GitHub again in the description and on there there will be a list of parameters that you can add to the already existing parameters and just animate those and put them in you'll be fine all of them say what they do They're pretty straightforward as you can see it was really easy to set up there's not a whole lot of complexity to it really you just have to kind of know what you're doing and that's basically the template I'm showing off here as you can see, you can put it onto any model you like. I put it onto the Nardo Dragon. I've never used this model in Unity before, but it was really straightforward, and I didn't have any problems with it. Thank you for watching. See you.